it's so funny because someone will come to me. Humans are here to connect, to exchange in dialogue. And I think all it takes, and I know this for a fact, because I respond to everyone, whether you're creepy or not, you get a response. <laughs> but that's because I know that behind creep A is a human going, man, I'm fucking lonely. But going to Muscle Beach specifically was so California. <laughs> like, it's just, yes, is, is California egocentric? Absolutely. Um, does that mean that everyone there is? No. But does it mean that it plays with your brain and what you look like and how people are perceiving you? Absolutely. Like, what does it mean to be a, a feminine energy in this lifetime? Because it, it doesn't mean that you are weak. It doesn't mean that you are soft. It doesn't mean that you have to wear pink and like going to tea. It also mm. doesn't mean that you have to be super strong and brutal or aggressive, whatever that means. You know, it's, it's about being this beautiful integration of both, of knowing that you can stand on your two feet, that you can courageously step up to battle, whatever that battle might be, whether it's micro or macro, internal or external depression. Because I want to take a moment to note that anxiety, depression, panic are all temporary experiences that the brain is seeking a solution to. And it's oftentimes a problem that has not happened yet or it's a rehashing of a problem mm. that happened in the past from the limbic system. And sort of look, like what was and, and what is the role of exercise for you and for other people dealing with anxiety and depression in your opinion? I learned in boxing that it's not about what I look like. Like your bank account doesn't fucking matter when you're ass deep in a workout and you're pouring sweat and worried about whether or not you're going to vomit. You know what I mean? Like the, it, it shuts this monkey brain up long enough for you to just feel and be festivals. I want to yeah. take a moment and say like on the record to step into that phase of exploration with diligent respect. Mm. I encourage copious amounts of research um and to not do it in excess recreationally mm. because to me that's a dishonor to the wisdom that they bring an alternate experience that was within me that was present in me that I could build a bridge to anytime I needed to, because that is why we do this. We, if we are exploring in the psychedelic space, what we're doing is stepping into an experience that is going to give you information for you to take a step forward in your human experience by anchoring your spirit into this physical existence. What, what is it about communication and, and how can we improve our communication skills a little bit? What are you, have you got some like tips or some thoughts on on maybe improving our journey with, with communication. Just give a shit. Just be present and give a shit. Mm. Like stop worrying about what you have to do next or what this person thinks of you and just listen. Waking at dawn, packing the